YouTube, it's your boy Lewis here, aka London Pokemon, and welcome to my channel, where we keep it real, and you know we keep it 100. Thanks for tuning in to today's video, wherever you're watching in the world right now, as it's a pleasure as always to have you all on board for this journey to catch them all. Now guys, in today's pack opening, I'll be opening up this Pokeball tin. More specifically, it is the Luxury Ball, which is one of my more favorite designs. And as you can see, it is the black and gold colors there that really complement one another. So I like that very much. And in even more specific detail, it is the D21 edition. And what this means is that it should contain Cosmic Eclipse inside. So let's keep our fingers crossed that that is the case. And in addition to that item, Item, I will also be cracking open these four brilliant stars booster packs in hopes of pulling a Charizard. Now these packs have all come from free pack blisters and as you can see we have one of each pack up. We've got the Charizard, we've got ourselves the Whimsicott, the Arceus as well as the Shaman as well. And like I said these have all come from free pack blisters and what that means is that they have come along with promo cards. However I already have the Leafeon and the Glaceon promo cards as part of my collection. So in today's video I will be doing a mini giveaway to give back to the subscribers of the channel. And all you have to do to be in with a chance of winning this mini giveaway is simply like this video you need to be a subscriber to the channel with all notifications on and lastly you need to comment down below which of the two promo cards is your favorite so you then need to just choose which of the ones is your favorite and comment it down below like i just said there i will then announce the winner in next week's video after randomly selecting a comment so good luck to everyone who enters so two gorgeous um, evolution Pokemon cards there, promo, limited edition promo cards that can only be got from the free pack blisters of Brilliant Stars. So they, those will hopefully um, be going to someone as of next week and someone can um, add those to their collection. Okay guys, let's get ourselves stuck into some booster packs. I think we'll get ourselves stuck into our Brilliant Stars first and foremost. Like I said, we've got our four booster packs here, all different pack arts. We've got 48% of this particular set to complete still and lots of the big hit is still to get as well. So let's get ourselves stuck into the Shaman first and foremost. Of course, amongst our chase cards are the Charizard V-Star and the Charizard um, V-Star Rainbow Rare version. We also have the Charizard Full Art that we need as well as the Alternate Art. We also want to try and get that Arceus Full Art as well as the Arceus Alternate Art. And then I would also love to pull the Sylveon VMAX and the Mimikyu VMAX from the Trainer Gallery. So let's see if we can get any um, fantastic cards to add to our collection today. Here is a co-card at home. I do give away the co-cards in all of the videos, so make sure we're making good use of those. Let's turn it round and we'll do four rounds in the front. One, two, three, and four. And we kickstart things off with that V-Star marker, as you would have seen there. So that's how we kickstart things off with that V-Star marker. Moving on into a Barry Trainer card. After this one, we have ourselves a Clang. Moving on into a Cynthia's Ambition Trainer card. After this one, we have ourselves a Clefairy. Going on into a Cherubi, which is a Grass-type Pokemon. Sock is our next Pokemon card after this one. Going on into a Corphish. After the Corphish, we have ourselves a Golette. Moving on into... A reverse hollow worm, madam. So unfortunately, nothing from our trainer gallery slot. However, it is a rare, as you can, I'm sure you can see at the bottom left corner there. It is card number 10 out of 172, which is a black star. As we now go into our actual rare of today's opening, can we get any first pack magic? Our first rare of today's video is an Agron V! And we will have that first ultra rare pulled from our first booster pack. So that there is a bit of first pack magic. Agron V has gone and been pulled from today's opening. It may be well, it may well be one that I've got. I've definitely pulled the Agron V Max on the channel before. I think I may have this, I'm not entirely sure. That's one to be checked after the video. But I will happily take an Agron V to kickstart things off in today's opening. That there is not a bad way to kick things off. So let's get that sleeved up, add it onto one of the easels at the back. Let's see if we can get all of these easels filled up with um, special hits today. We'll move on to the Whimsicott next. So let's get ourselves stuck into this booster pack. Make sure as well, if you haven't already done so, to check out our Instagram page. We do post lots of cool content on there. We do lots of giveaways. I give away code cards on there. Um, and we're really trying to make that grow as well. So do give us a follow on the London Pokemon Instagram page if you haven't already done so. As we chuck that to the side and let's give you all a code card at home. Good luck to whoever receives that. 
And we'll do four rounds to the front once again for this particular booster pack. One, two, three, and four. And we kickstart ourselves off in this booster pack with a fighting type energy. After this fighting type energy, our first card is a fighting type Pokemon in Vibrava with that lovely artwork there done by Tomokozu Kamiya. After this card, we have ourselves a Staravia. Moving on into a Monferno, which is a fire type Pokemon. After this one, we have ourselves a Trapinch. Going on into a Piplup. Shroomish is our card after this one. Going on into a Purloin, which is a darkness type Pokemon. After this, we have ourselves a Duskull. Mothim is our rare reverse holo after this one. So we actually have pulled back to back rare reverse holos, which is pretty decent. If we're not going to put a trainer gallery card, then you know, a reverse holo rare is the next best thing. As you can see, card number 11 um, out of 172 there. Going into our rare at the back, can we get anything to add to one of the easels at the back to go alongside our Agron V? We have a whimsical V star! Get in! Whimsical V star pulled from our second booster back. Pulled from the Whimsical artwork pack, actually. So very, very hyped to have pulled that. That there is very, very nice indeed. Is it a card that I've got? I'm not entirely sure. I feel like I may have pulled this one. But even so, Whimsical V-Star is another card that I will happily sleeve up and add to one of the easels at the back. So back-to-back -back Ultra Rares, kickstarting off this opening. Happy to, got, happy to have got that one. Even if it is one that I've already got, it can be something that I go on to trade. So very, very happy to have got that Whimsical V-Star. So Brilliant Stars is definitely definitely serving us extremely well so far. As we move into our third booster pack of today's opening, we go into the one with the Arceus pack art this time. Let's see if the god himself, Arceus, can provide us with some magic from this booster pack. It would be really cool to add to our trainer gallery collection. Um, we've got so many cards that still need to be added into that particular part of the binder. There is another code card for you all. Good luck to whoever receives that. Do let me know down below in the comment sections if you are using those and if you are getting any cool pulls in there on the online TCG as well. So we kicks out this one off with a fire type energy. Let's see if we can get any fire from this booster pack. We move on to our first Pokemon card of this booster pack, which is a Probo Pass. After this one, we have ourselves a Team Yells Cheer Trainer card. Going on into a Cinchino. After this, we have a Bidoof. Moving on into an Electabuzz, which is obviously an electric type Pokemon. Horlucha is the one after this. So quite a few colorless energy Pokemon cards popping up in this particular booster pack. Going on into a Buizel for our next card. After this one, we have a Gibble. Going into our Trainer Gallery slot. Can we get a Trainer Gallery card? We have a Trainer Gallery Arianos. Let's go. Trainer Gallery card has just got a Mimple. Trainer Gallery card number nine out of 30. Very, very nice indeed. Ariados Trainer Gallery card has got a Mimple. And that is most definitely one needed for the binder, for the Brilliant Stars binder. So we have gone three out of three so far in today's opening. Really smashing it so far. Going on into the rare of this booster pack. Can we get a double banger? We have a Golurk non holo rare. Let's quickly pop that to the side and have a closer look at our Ariados. Very, very nice there. I absolutely love the trainer gallery cards, especially the ones that we do need for the collection. So that there is a real beaut. Let's get that sleeved up and add that to the easels at the back. Really, really doing ever so well in today's opening. Brilliant Stars always comes through with the magic. So that's nice and sleeved up now. We can place that on one of the easels at the back. And we still have the King himself, the Charizard pack art to go into next before then going into our Pokeball tin where we will hopefully round off things with Cosmic Eclipse if that is inside. So let's get stuck into this Charizard pack art this time around. Open up this booster and let's see if any heat lays inside. So there we go. There is the co card for you all at home. I'm going to chat that to the side once more. We'll do four rounds to the front. And we kickstart this particular booster pack off with a fighting type energy. Can we go four out of four in our Brilliant Stars booster packs? We move on into a Pot Helmet trainer card. After this one, we have ourselves an Executor. First time seeing that in today's opening. Moving on into a Friends in Gala trainer card. After this one, we have... A Ryolu. We move on into a Starly. 
After this card, we have ourselves a Milsery. The card after this one is a Carablast. Moving on into a Clefairy. As we've reached our Trainer Gallery slot, can we get ourselves another Trainer Gallery card or will it be a Reverse Holo? We have a Nose Pass Reverse Holo, which is just a common, so nothing from there. Going into our rare of our final Brilliant Stars Booster Pack, we have a Mewtwo regular rare so nothing from that one but if you're going to get a regular rare then the Mewtwo one is going to be the one that you want so again that isn't even too bad I'm not even sure if I've pulled this one before I'm not entirely sure again that's something that will need to be looked into after finishing the video and putting all of everything into the binder so we've done ever so well from our first four booster packs we've got ourselves the Agron V the Whimsicott V star as well as that Ariados trainer gallery card as we move on into our uh, Pokeball tin, sorry. Um, very nice there. We will get the plastic off the perforated edge and see if we can get this off without too much fuss. And then we can see what booster packs lay inside. So there we go. Off that comes. There should be a um, coin as well as the three booster packs inside. So let's get that ripped open and let's keep our fingers crossed for the Cosmic Eclipse, and it is a good sign because I can see it right on top there. Let's quickly have a look at which coin comes with. We've got ourselves a Dragonite coin. Do you feel as though the Pokemon Center really needs to start mixing these up a little bit? I feel like many of the products that have opened up recently have had this Dragonite coin, so it would be nice to see some new Pokemon on some of those coins. So let's quickly put the lid on this um, Pokeball tin and prop it down to the side. And as predicted, we do have that Cosmic Eclipse. So there we go, Cosmic Eclipse, which we will be getting stuck into. So looking forward to seeing what we can pull out of that. We've had lots of luck with Cosmic Eclipse in the past. We also have ourselves a Vivid Voltage as well. So a chance at trying to pull those Chunkachu cards in that set. And then we also have ourselves a Rebel Clash as well. As you can see, some of the packs are a little bit beaten up. However, I'm sure the cards inside will be absolutely fine. So quite a nice broad selection of packs there. I think we will go in to Rebel Clash first and foremost. And in this particular set, we are on the hunt for the Rillaboom and the Cinderous VMAX. Nine Tails Full Art, as well as the Bolton Full Art, are two cards that I need. I would also love to pull the Phalanx Full Art, as well as the Cinderous Full Art. And then, if the set's being very generous, I would happily take a Golden Frostmoth and a Golden Galarian Persica. So let's see what we can get from this particular booster pack. If we do get a hit from any of the sets though, then it, I would love it to be Cosmic Eclipse. But let's see what we can pull from our Rebel Clash pack. There is a code card for you all at home. We'll chuck that to the side and we'll do four rounds to the front and we'll see what we can get from this particular one. Now we do have 66% of this particular set to still collect. So we've got a long way to go, including many of the commons and uncommons as well. So let's see if we can at least add to the binder. We kick fit start things off with an electric type energy. Pelipper is our first card, which is a nice artwork on that card. I do like that. Bronzong is the card after that. Lots of new cards here. So hopefully these will all be going into the binder. After this, we have ourselves a Nugget Trainer card. First time ever seeing that one there. Going on into a Shinx, which is an electric type Pokemon, which matches up with the energy that we pulled. After this, we have a Sandy Ghast. Moving on into a Roly Coley, which is a fighting type Pokemon. After this, we have a Stunky, which is a darkness type Pokemon. So lots of new artwork here. So I'm sure many of these will be going into the binder. After this card, we have ourselves a Clefairy. Lovely artwork on that card as well. That is gorgeous. Absolutely lovely hand-drawn work artwork there. After this one, we have ourselves a Reverse Hollow Applin, which is just a regular, which is just a common, sorry, a common Reverse Hollow. And we move into our rare of this booster pack. We have a Galarian Darmanitan non-hollow rare. I feel like I've pulled this card so many times from Rebel Clash in the past. So nothing from there. However, we did get lots of commons and uncommons that I'm sure we will be adding into the collection. Let's go into Vivid Voltage next. We have 62% of this particular um, set still to collect. We're after the Pikachu V as well as the Pikachu V Full Art, the Chunkachu, and of course the Rainbow Rare version of that Chunkachu. There are also some really nice Full Art cards. I'd love to pull the Zerud and the Alakazam. And then there is also the, op the opportunity to get some of those amazing rares, which we also need. So let's see what we can pull from this booster pack. So here is a code card for you all at home. We'll chuck that to the side once again. And we'll do four rounds to the front and we'll see if we can add something to the final easel at the back of the screen there. As we kick start this one off with a lucky, lucky leaf type energy. After this, we have ourselves a Cramorant. We move on into 
a Nessa trainer card. After this one, we have ourselves a Nuzleaf. Moving on into an Oshawott. After this card, we have a Duskull. We go on into our next one, which is a Ferrocee, which is a metal type Pokemon. Ryolu is our card after that one. Going into our next card, which is a Sandile. Lovely artwork on that. We go into our reverse holo spot now, potentially an amazing rare card. We have ourselves a Deancey um, reverse holo, which is a rare. So as you can maybe just about made that out, we've got the black star at the bottom there, at the bottom left, 79 out of 185. So we've been doing pretty well from the reverse holo slot today. I think we've got ourselves about three reverse holo rares and obviously that trainer gallery card as well from Brilliant Stars. We go into our rare at the back of this booster pack. Can we get any magic? We have a Jolteon non-holo rare. Um, so just a regular rare. However, I'm not actually sure if this is a card that I've got. Like I said, it is just a regular rare. It is a non-holo. But if you are going to get a regular rare from this set, then you're not going to mind if it is Jolteon. So not a bad pull there, but nothing worthy of putting on one of the easels at the back. So nothing so far from our Pokeball team. Let's get ourselves stuck into our final booster pack. We've got ourselves Cosmic Eclipse. Now, so many awesome cards in this set. We have been very fortunate on the few times that we have opened this set up on the channel before um, to have pulled some really nice cards. We are after um, any of the tag team cards, to be honest with you. Blastoise and Piplup tag team cards. We would love to try and get every single one of them. We have actually pulled one on the channel before. We'd also love to pull the Charizard and Breaks and tag team cards as well. In addition to that, the Lopunny and Jigglypuff tag team cards have so many gorgeous artworks on that. And then we also have the character rare slot as well. And I'd love to pull the Pikachu and the also the Piplup um, character rare cards as well. So let's get ourselves stuck into this booster pack. Let's give you a code card at home. Oh, sadly it is a green code card. So doesn't look like we're gonna be getting too much from this. So that's a bit of an upset. Uh, not the way that we want to round it off, but let's give you the code card anyway. And as you can see, obviously it is a green code card. So we're not expecting too much. However, I do believe that we could potentially still pull something from that character rare slot. Fingers crossed that is the case, but I always hate it when the code cards are the wrong way around simply just because it sort of spoils what may or may not be in this particular set. So we'll go through this and we'll keep our fingers crossed anyway, but we're not expecting too much. But of course we could potentially get something from the character rare slot. We kickstart off with an old school water type energy. We move on to a Clefairy, which is a fairy type Pokemon in this particular set. We did pull a Clefairy earlier on, which was a psychic type energy. Lovely artwork on this card. Pig Knight is our next card, which is a fire type Pokemon. We move on into a Zangoose. After this set, after this card, I should say, sorry, we have a Rockruff. We move on into our next one, which is a Sphil. After our Sphil, we have a Natu. We go on into a Palpatode, which is another fighting type Pokemon. After this one, we have a Jangmo O, which is a dragon type Pokemon, going into what I believe is our character rare slot. This will be our one and only chance to get something because we know it's a green color card, so nothing's coming up in that rare slot, or it's very unlikely to anyway. We have a trainer red and blue tag team um, reverse holo, which is just an uncommon. So sadly, we don't have anything from that trainer gallery slot. And like I said, we're not expecting too much from our rare slot at the back here, but we'll keep our fingers crossed anyway. Can we potentially defy all um, the odds and pull something? We have ourselves from our final um, booster pack, which is Cosmic Eclipse. We have a Toad of Big Clipper and Jigglypuff DX Tag Team Card! Get in! How are we gonna do that? Toad of Big Clipper and Jigglypuff GX Card has somehow gotten been pulled from a green code card. How have we gotten pulled? Such an amazing card. We were not expecting anything at all. And we have gotten pulled this amazing card from this set. Oh my goodness. Talk about last pack magic. Togepi and Cleffa and Igglybuff tag team GX card over the moon with that one. We did actually just go and pull that from the Togepi and Cleffa and Igglybuff pack art as well. And we have somehow managed to go and pull this awesome card from a green code card. I did show you all 
at the start of opening up this particular um, booster pack that we weren't expecting much at all. Whenever we open up Cosmic Eclipse on the channel, it's always a banging card that we get in our rare slot. I don't know how we seem to do it, but we always seem to get it. We've got ourselves the Blastoise and the Pipla GX cards before. We've got ourselves the Guzzlord and the Naganadel um, tag team card not too long ago, the alternate art. And now we've gone and pulled ourselves the Togepi and the Cleffa and the Eagly Buff. GX tag team card. Basically a triple threat really with the free Pokemon on there. Just look at that. I absolutely love the shine of these cards here. The GX cards hit differently to most others to be honest with you. Just love the artwork and the pattern on it. And I am absolutely thrilled to be adding that one into the collection. And to be honest with you, it's not too badly centered as well. Let's have a quick look at the back. Or handle with care. Again, not too bad to be honest, but it is one that will be going into the collection and it is most definitely one that we needed. Can't believe we managed to somehow get last pack magic there. Definitely, definitely, definitely was not expecting that. What a way to round off this video. And we did also manage to fill up all four of our easels. Look at that. All four easels, well predicted by myself today. We managed to get all four easels filled up with a, with a wide range of Pokemon cards today. Let's have a quick recap of what it is that we did get in today's video. So let's have a quick shuffle of this. Make sure you've liked this video as well if you haven't already done so. And make sure as well to subscribe to the channel if you're new. We upload Mondays and Fridays, so make sure to have all notifications on so you don't miss a video. So we did get ourselves that Agron V. It may well be one that we've got as part of the collection, but I'll happily take an Ultra Rare when they appear. We also got that Whimsicott V-Star, and again, that may well be another card that we've got. However, like I said, I can go on to trade it for another card that I haven't already got, so we will happily take a V-Star card when they appear. But then two cards that we most definitely do not have are the Ariados Trainer Gallery card, which was pulled from Brilliant Stars. Brilliant Stars really put, um, given us some fire and some heat in today's opening. So very happy to have pulled that Ariados Trainer Gallery card. And then, against all odds, we somehow, from a green code card, managed to pull a tag team Togepi and Cleffa and Igglybuff GX card from a green code card. I have no idea how we managed to do it. I don't have no idea how we always managed to get hits from Cosmic Eclipse, but it is a set that myself and Cosmic Eclipse itself gets on extremely well when pulling ultra rare cards. And what a gorgeous card that is. Even with the sleeve on it, you can see the shine on that card. Absolutely hyped and over the moon with that. And that card there most definitely steals the limelight for this show. So guys, Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. Make sure that you have smashed that like button, subscribe if you're new, and make sure to have entered our mini giveaway as well to win those Leafeon and Glaceon promo cards. But guys, until next time, keep it real, keep it 100, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.